good y'all it's your girl nay back at it again with another video and as y'all can tell by that title and that thumbnail girl today we're gonna be doing like a little chit chat get ready with me um i like doing these type of videos when i have weave in my hair because y'all know that i pretty much do the same makeup routine all the time so i figured to make this video a little interesting and to make it longer i might as well do my hair and do my makeup and pretty much just kind of get ready for the day with y'all um i just got on this slight little outfit because i'm just going because i'm running errands literally all day after i filmed this video so i kind of just wanted to do this just so that i could record and get cute and share out what i'm doing today is officially one the day before my birthday today is tuesday tomorrow's my birthday so i have a lot of last minute errands that i need to run i decided let's get ready i wanted to come smoke chit chat with y'all kind of talk about a couple of things you know just chat it up with y'all as i get ready we're gonna smoke talk talk about some topics <coughs> <coughs> and just get ready so y'all already know the drill don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on all my social medias if you haven't already they will be down in the description box and in the intro video that you just seen comment down below smash the subscribe button follow me on all my socials and we're gonna get into the video game all right y'all so like i said this is gonna be like a little get ready with me i haven't done one of these like chit chat get ready with me's in a minute the most the get ready with me's that i've been doing lately have just been me putting music over it because it's easier for me to edit but i decided why not let me come chit chat with y'all give y'all a couple of things so like i said i'm not gonna focus really too much about the products because it's the same products all the time i literally just posted a get ready with me and all the products will be linked down below i will link them down below well i will list them down below in the description box again in this video but i use the same products every time that i do my makeup so yeah but i am going to do my makeup first before i do my hair because i don't know what i'm doing to my hair and like i said i do the same makeup routine all the time so it shouldn't be too difficult or too hard or none of that so basically um yeah so i just wanted to come talk to y'all do like a little life update with y'all so i did tell y'all at the beginning of the video or in my intro i told y'all today is tuesday my birthday is tomorrow so like i said and like i've been telling y'all i really didn't have nothing planned on my actual birthday i really just wanted to like get cute and take some cute pictures because for the past two years i haven't been able to get no really good like birthday pictures so that's really what i'm focused on doing of course me my mom my brother and my grandma are gonna go out to eat and then i will probably spend a little bit of time with my nigga and then yeah but on saturday i'm off that's when i plan on like getting drunk turn up go get my tattoo and all of that but i just don't feel like getting sloppy fucking drunk in the middle of the weekday on a wednesday so tomorrow i'm really just gonna play it cool but don't worry because this weekend is when i'm really gonna like turn up turn up on saturday but i'm just gonna really play it cool um tomorrow um i don't know if y'all could tell but i did get eyelash extensions i'm pretty sure y'all heard me say in um i'm pretty sure y'all heard me say in a couple other previous videos i was telling y'all that i wanted to try lash extensions like really bad and i was going to do it before my birthday because normally i'm not a big fan of trying new things before like a special day especially because like i said really the only thing that i wanted to do today was i mean really the only thing that i wanted to do for my birthday was to get cute and take pictures so originally i was just like maybe that's not a good idea to go try lash extensions days before my birthday because what if i don't like them i mean they're okay my biggest complaint is that i just had to sit there for four hours like that's really the biggest complaint that i had was the fact that i had to sit there or i had to lay there for four hours but y'all i forgot that i this was supposed to be smoking too so get y'all blunts get y'all weed y'all already know i am smoking a berry dutch per usual so we're gonna light this thing and this is what i just put on my face 
right now. I'm gonna put another primer on in a second, but let's just swipe this blunt and get into it because I was about to forget. Now I'm about to go in with this primer. Um, so yeah, so originally, like I said, I wasn't the biggest fan of going and trying to try something new on my birthday, but I was like, screw it, shit. I said that I wanted to get cute, so if I want to try me some lash extensions, I'm going to try it. Like I said, the only really complaint that I had, these is more like on the natural side. Y'all know that the lashes that I normally wear are like really long and extra. So when I first seen them, I didn't like them, but that was because, you know, like they're more on the natural side and I think I'm just not used to it, but they starting to um grow on me a little bit. I don't dislike them or anything. They're just more natural than what I'm used to. Um so yeah, I'm going to just see how long they last depending on how long they last and how and what I have to do to keep up with them will determine whether I get them again cuz like I said, I really wasn't the biggest fan of laying on that table for that long. I didn't think it was going to take that long. I don't know like i don't know this was my first time so me laying on that table for four hours really wasn't the ideal thing that i wanted to do so i don't know like i said it really just depends on um how long these last will determine if i decide to get them again or not um i was supposed to be going to get my eyebrows done today but i don't think that i am doing that i tried to shape them up as best as i could yesterday by myself just because i don't know like i don't really be having the best experience when i go um and get my eyebrows done like it takes a certain type of person to do my eyebrows the right way and i really just don't have time for my shit to be fucked up so i tried to shape them up the best way i could myself and they just gonna have to stay like this because i'm just too afraid that they gonna fuck my shit up and i'd rather them look like this than them then they be skinny as hell and they take too much off or none of that so and like i said they gonna look crazy right now until i really clean them up and get them together like how they supposed to be then it'll come through but right now they about to look crazy but yeah so y'all i do start school at the end of this month which i don't know it's gonna be like i said i haven't really been to in-person school since before i graduated because y'all know i graduated during 2020 when the pandemic so i haven't been in in-person school in probably like two years i want to say so this is about to be new for me girl pray for me okay so i am going to have to cut down you know the hours at my job i plan on going in there and talking to them about me um and like cutting down my hours and letting them know that i am about to start school so i mean i guess it's okay y'all know me i'm always gonna be somebody that's about my money so But like I said, it's just not possible for me to be able to be to have a successful school year if I work as much as I do now. It's just not possible. So something's gonna have to give. Um 
as far as my job it is pretty decent like i said i pretty much get along with everybody it's like a couple people who i'm not like the biggest fan of just because like you know like i don't know like you know you know when you get somewhere and you always have those people who think that they just like know everything or like you know like you know them people who want to be important but they not and it's just like sis you be walking around here like you know everything but if you did know everything why they haven't made you a manager yet like if you just know everything and you just that girl then why have they yet to not make you a manager if you really are just all that like how you be making it seem but overall like i said my job is pretty good like i said i pretty much get along with everybody it's just like maybe one or two people that we don't always see eye to eye all the time but it's not like oh it's beef like i haven't been there long enough to be beefing with people so yeah the hardest thing really is that i have like a money spending problem y'all like i'll be finding any reason or any excuse to just spend money like it literally don't matter what it is i will find a reason or an excuse about why i need to spend money on something or why i need to buy something knowing damn well that i don't be needing it i just be finding excuses to buy it and i really need to stop because it's just like girl like you ain't gonna never be able to save if i i'm never gonna be able to save for the shit that i'm supposed to be saving for if i continue spending the way that i do and me having the job where now i make money on an everyday basis and i walk out with cash in my hand every day doesn't make it any better it does not make my spending habits any better because like i said i walk out with cash in my hand that day so I'm just more prone to spend it. Like, if I know that I have to work for the weekend and I'm finna make me some money, then I might work on Wednesday and then be off on Thursday and then be out at the stores buying shit because I know that tomorrow on Friday I'm gonna just make some more money. So, why not just go out and spend this that I just made on Wednesday because I know that tomorrow I'm gonna get me some more, like... I need to really stop doing that like uh, like I said I'm never gonna be able to save for what I'm supposed to be saving for if I keep spending like this um, so okay so um, I don't know if some of y'all, most of y'all probably know, I don't know if some of y'all came from that video, but a couple months ago, around December, I had made a, I had made a couple of videos around that time where I was talking about, um, those of y'all probably know that it was this situation going on on youtube between like keisha and her um boyfriend baby mama and she like it was just a whole bunch of drama going on between her paris ashley and all of that and during december when all of that drama was coming out i made like two or three videos basically just saying that like them bitches are crazy like they basically just got on youtube just to like try to belittle her and i never and me personally i didn't feel like he should did anything wrong in the situation well not i'm not gonna say she didn't do anything wrong because obviously i don't know the full situation even though 
we may feel like we know a lot of course there are bits and pieces of the story that we're never going to know about or we're never going to find out because it's just not our business to know every single detail of everything that go on in these people's lives but from what i've seen i didn't feel like keisha really did anything in the wrong so anyway i made a video about it and it got like almost 3,000 views i think it's one of the highest i think it's my highest view video on my channel right now the video that i made about paris and so pretty much since december i haven't made videos really talking about anybody else my videos have really just been directed towards me um just because like i said i didn't want people to come to my channel thinking that like this was like some drama channel or none of that i was really just speaking my opinion about a situation that was all over social media but i haven't made no videos like that since then So, for those of y'all that is about to feel some type of way, I wanted to kind of touch on the whole Carmen and Corey and Neek drama that just hit social media a couple of days ago. Well, really, this drama been happened like two years ago, but it really like just got brought back to the internet probably a couple of days ago people was bringing it back up again so i decided shit even though it happened two years ago since people was bringing it back up why not just use this video as an opportunity i guess to just state my opinion about it um so basically for those of y'all that don't know um neek made a video or i don't know i guess the situation happened between neek and carmen well all i know is is that neek posted a video probably two years ago on her personal channel and she basically made the video talking about how king told her that him and carmen um slept together or they messed around or some shit like that and pretty much after that rumor came out that was pretty much how everybody found out that Nick and King was broken up so a lot of people thought that that was the reason why they broke up a lot of people was mad and upset you already know that people be um in the comments sorry y'all Sorry, I need to get some, but y'all already know that people already be dragging Carmen for her putting up with Corey and the shit that he do. So when they, so when that situation came out, a lot of people was like dragging Carmen, saying that like she's a home wrecker. How could you sleep with your best friend, man? And all of this. So come to find out, I guess the shit was a lie, which me said in her video that king told her after that it was a lie but she didn't believe it she believed that it really happened and so i guess carmen made a video talking about um how she doesn't hang how she doesn't make friends with girls who have boyfriends because of that situation that happened with me she chooses not to make friends that have boyfriends anymore because of that situation and because of how she got dragged and yeah she basically was like that she doesn't make friends with girls who have boyfriends anymore because of that situation all right y'all so I have my hot comb and my flat iron plugged up over here. I'm about to cut both of them on. I don't know. I want to try to figure out a style that I could do to my hair, but I don't know yet. So we just about to wing it and see where it go. But yeah, so 
Carmen was basically talking about how because of that situation with Neek and them that she doesn't make friends with girls who have boyfriends and da 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 da. So then I guess y'all know that people on the shave room, as soon as you post something, they sending it to the shave room and they posting it. So the shave room posted it or whatever. And I guess basically King seen it and felt like I guess he felt like, you know, that they was bringing an old situation back up just to try to drag him and try to say that he's in the wrong. Um, yeah, he basically was mad because he felt like that Carmen re brought up a, sit a old situation that was already dead that she went and brought it back up for no reason and that all this shit got started. Um... But in his video that he made, like, no, he really didn't say nothing in his video. Like, he went and posted on Instagram that he was going to make a video addressing everything, and he didn't address nothing. Like, the only thing he addressed was the fact that it was a lie, but he tried to say that the only reason he made up the lie was because Neek was cheating on him, and Carmen knew it, and he only told Neek that him and Carmen slept together because he was trying to get her to admit that she was cheating on him or whatever the case was and i don't know like i said like to me it was just like he didn't explain nothing in the video like he he went on the shade room or he went on instagram making it seem like he was gonna make a video really talking his shit or like he was really gonna address something and then in the video he really didn't address anything so that confused me because i was just like you know, like, I thought he was going to come really address some shit. The way he was acting on Instagram, he was making it seem like he was really, like, finna spill some tea and tell all and tell everything and tell us some shit that we didn't know. But it was just like, he was repeating the same shit that we already knew. Like, we already knew that the shit was a lie. We just didn't know why he made up the lie. But to me, it just was like he was like trying to justify him making up that lie and was like oh yeah like they wasn't even friends like that they was never best friends they was putting on for the camera they relationship been rocky before that lie even came out and it was just like he was just trying to justify it but to me it was just like if that's supposed to be your girl and that's supposed to be her friend and they relationships rocky or whatever why would you go try to make it worse and make up a lie and tell your girlfriend that you slept with her friend or you and her friend messed around if their relationship was already rocky before that why would you go and just try to stir some shit up to make it worse like that's what i didn't understand um he basically was just trying to say like he was tired of this narrative being spun that like he's a cheater when me was really cheating on him too and carmen knew it and she still to this day haven't told nobody and all this and i'm just like why do you feel like it's carmen's place to get on camera and tell everybody that oh me was cheating on you or something like i don't get why he feel like that's carmen's place to go and tell that when and i also don't get that if that was really the truth why he never admitted that from the jump like why is he just now two years later trying to say that he made up that lie because neat was cheating on him why he didn't just say that then when the shit initially came out why is he waiting two years down the line to say that he made up this lie because neat was cheating on him and he was just trying to get the truth and all this and to me it was just like like i said like that was weird he made it seem like on his instagram that he was gonna really like come and like really tell some shit and he was really gonna tell us some shit that we didn't know and he didn't like he really didn't explain shit in his video like how he was making it seem like 
he was going to explain. And, like, to be honest, I always used to wonder why when him when he used to do them prank videos on me i always used to wonder like why did she used to get so mad when he used to do them cheating pranks it's like she would go from like 10 to a thousand in like the matter of like five minutes every time he would do these sheen pranks and i'm like come on now these is you two couples how the hell can you prank somebody that you live with every day and they not know that you pranking them like it's clear at this point that y'all faking them pranks because there's no way that you could live with somebody and prank them every day and they're never gonna catch on and realize oh shit maybe he's pranking me but of course back then i'm gonna be honest y'all i didn't know that the youtube pranks was fake that was during the time where i didn't know that it was fake i thought people was just like you know making up rumors because you know people be jealous when they find out that people out here making all this big money off of youtube i thought it was just jealous making up shit but come to find out that is really true now but like it always used to like i always thought it was weird because i'm just like bro why does she really believe that this nigga is out cheating on her if they always together and like i said like i was watching neek and king back when they was a part of fucking just crazy clout game anybody that know y'all know that they was a part of j quizzy clout gang they had moved down to texas and they all was in a house neat and carmen was pregnant at the time and they was in a house with airy trey gilly carmen corey neat and king they was all in the house together and so i have been watching neat and king and all of them since then because i don't know like they was just always my favorite out of the house like they was always my favorite out of everybody in the house so when they had their own channel i was you know subscribed i was watching or whatever and like they used to do these he used to do these pranks where like you know like oh he would text another girl or he would like pretend like he was like or he would like pretend like some girl was locked in the bathroom or he would just do these little pranks that was almost like cheating pranks and like i said like to me i just didn't understand why she would always fall for it so i'm just like bro like ain't no way you pranking her every day and she hasn't caught on by now this is a prank so i was just like well maybe she's doing it for entertainment you know because that i feel like that was why they always got a lot of views and why they blew up because every time king would do some prank that involved cheating neek would go crazy start cussing him out start hitting on him and shit and for some reason people think that when girls get on here and they act a fool like for some reason on youtube people love to see it but to me it was just like i didn't like it like i started like not to like me after a while because i'm just like why does she always feel like she got a hit on him during these pranks like and it's just like one day if he hit her ass back then what like if he was on here hitting on her like this y'all would be ready to call the police but because she's hitting on him y'all think it's funny and y'all over here watching the video and running the views up and shit because y'all think it's hilarious but if it was him and her y'all be ready to call the police so when the whole shit came out about why they broke up and she did a reaction to his documentary and she said that he had cheated on her before and that's why she was always so on him and that's why she never wanted him to go anywhere by himself because he had did to her before it made sense to me when she said it like it made sense i'm like okay so that's why she used to be going crazy on him all the time when he used to be doing these cheating pranks because he had cheated on her in the past in real life and she never brought it to social media never said anything so that's why she would be going crazy when he would do them pranks
and so it made sense to me but like i said it just didn't make sense for him to come out years later and try to say oh well i only made up that lie about sleeping with carmen because neat was cheating on me and i was just trying to get the truth or whatever and it was just like well nigga how come you didn't been say that because when the situation first hit the internet you didn't say nothing like you just tried to make it seem like you know like all you did was apologize and kept it moving so if you really made that up because me was cheating on you then how come you never said that like how come you never said it how come like you know i just didn't get why he never opened his mouth and said anything until now so it's just like i don't even know who to believe at this point because it's just like if that's really true why he never been said none why he waiting until now to say that he did it because she was cheating on him too like and another thing that i didn't like is i didn't like how they was always trying to pin neat and lena against each other so i'm glad that they both finally spoke on the shit and let it be known that they didn't have no beef because i feel like people was always trying to pin them against each other and you know i ain't gonna lie at first i was one of those people who like didn't like lena because i'm like hold the fuck on now like because Neek hadn't moved on yet. So I felt like, how dare King gonna go cheat on her, their relationship over with because he cheated on her. And then now he just gonna go out and move on with his life and go find this girl and get her pregnant and just start his whole life over. Like they wasn't together for mad long. But shit. But yeah, so that's pretty much like what I wanted to kind of touch on because the shit didn't just didn't make sense to me. Like, I just wanted to know if I was the only one who seen that and didn't get like what the point of it was because I didn't get what the point was either. Like, I didn't get what the point of him making that video was because he didn't address nothing. Like, he made it seem like he was about to really talk and address some shit and I don't feel like he did that at all. So yeah y'all i don't know what i'm doing i just kind of did this little style just because i don't know but i'm probably going i might end up taking this out to be honest i might end up taking this out because it's hot but i'm about to go ahead and put my jewelry on real quick and in this video because it's already 30 minutes so i'm just about to pop this jewelry in real quick and in this video um like i said i just got on this plain little like gray two-piece from shein because i'm not really doing nothing later but running errands like i said that was why i needed to hurry up and get this video done because i ain't doing nothing but running errands and doing all this last minute stuff that I need to get done so like I said these is the same earrings that I always wear and I'm just going So yeah, so these are the same earrings that I always wear. And I'm just going to throw on this little angel necklace because it's right here in front of me. And that's pretty much the end of the video, y'all. So um, I know that somebody might ask. I'm going to let y'all know. This flat iron is from Hot Tools, but I got it off of Amazon where I get everything. And then this hot comb, it's a Andis 
hot comb you can't even see it now because it's like rubbed off but yeah i think i'm gonna have to get me a new one i've had it for years so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to get me a new one soon because it's kind of been messing up recently but yeah but that flat iron is really good it gets really hot it goes up to like 370 i think and yeah it get really hot so i like it for those y'all that's gonna ask like i said i didn't pay too much attention to the actual products just because they're the same products that i always use so if y'all want to know i will leave a link well i will list all of the products that i use in order that i use them in the description box down below if i forgot to like hold them up or show y'all like i said these are the same two pair of earrings that i always wear um i don't know they both of these are real gold earrings so i don't know my grandma ordered them off of somewhere i don't know where but they're just some regular earrings and then this is just a little angel necklace from shein and yeah so i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to follow me on all my social medias if you haven't already like i said my birthday is tomorrow i have been vlogging so i will be vlogging today i have to go get my feet done i have to go find me some shoes for my outfit and i have to like i said run errands so i will be vlogging and recording me running my errands um i will be doing like a little get ready with me on my actual birthday but i decided that i'm just going to include it in the vlog instead of making a separate video so if y'all want to see how i look on my actual birthday then y'all just gonna have to wait for the vlog it should drop probably sunday or monday at the latest i am going to get me a tattoo on saturday so i'll also include that in the vlog and y'all just see basically how i transformed how i went from looking busted to how I look basically right now. I do have to get my nails done tomorrow morning. So that will also be in the vlog. Me getting my nails done. And yeah, so before I forget, shout out to this person right here. I don't know who you are yet and I won't know until I edit this video. But thank you so much for like, commenting, and subscribe. Thank you for being tapped in with the gang. Thank you for having your notifications turned on. Thank you for coming back to watch the videos. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all already know we on the road to 100K. I say this in every video and I'm going to keep saying it. I am doing a giveaway at 1K. I will be having three winners. I do plan on doing like probably $50, $100 gift cards. So I'll be picking three winners when I hit 100K subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe so you could be entered in that giveaway because as soon as you subscribe you automatically enter you automatically have a chance to win that's all you got to do um like i said i'll give y'all more details about the giveaway when it's time for that but we not talking about that right now i just figured that i let y'all know i love y'all and thank you so much for watching peace